joyful and triumphant. O Kami, O Kami, to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. My brothers and sisters, let us all pray during this Mass for each other, especially for you who are taking part in this Eucharist, wherever you are, I pray for you and your intentions. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. On Christmas Day, on Christmas night, we thank the Lord for the gift of Jesus. So now, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy, Christ. Christ have mercy, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo, et in terra pas omnibus bone voluntatis we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory Lord of God Heavenly King, O oh God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the Father have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, 
sacred night, radiant with the splendor of the true light, grant we pray that we who have known the mysteries of his light on earth may also delight in his gladness in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Isaiah. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light on those who live in the land of deep shadow, a light that a light has shone. You have made their gladness greater. You have made their joy increase. They rejoice in your presence as men rejoice at harvest time, as men are happy when they are dividing the spoils. For the yoke that was weighing on him a bar across his shoulders, a rod of his oppressor, these you break on the day of Midian for all the foot gear of battle. The cloak rolled on in blood is burned and consumed by fire. For there is a child born for us, a son given to us, and dominion is laid on his shoulders. And this is the name may give him, they give him. Wonder Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. White is his dominion in a peace that has no end for the throne of David and for his royal power, which he establishes and makes secure in justice and integrity from the time onwards and forever. The jealous love of the Lord of hosts will do this the word of the Lord thanks our response for unto us is born this day alleluia a saviour who is Christ the Lord Alleluia Who oh, sing a new song to the Lord Sing to the Lord all the earth O oh, sing a new song to the Lord Sing to the Lord bless His name For unto us is born this day Alleluia A Saviour who is Christ the Lord Alleluia let the 
heavens rejoice and earth and earth be glad alleluia let the sea and wall within it thunder praise alleluia for unto us is born this day alleluia a savior who is christ the lord alleluia The second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. God's grace has been revealed and it has made salvation possible for the whole human race and taught us that what we have to do is to give up everything that does not lead to God and all our worldly ambitions. We must be self-restrained and live good and religious lives here in this present world while we are waiting in hope for the blessing which will come with the appearing of the glory of our great God and Saviour Christ Jesus. He sacrificed himself for us in order to set us free from all wickedness and to purify a people so that it could be his very own and would have no ambition except to do good. The word of the Lord. Alleluia. Caesar Augustus issued a decree for a census of the whole world to be taken. The census the first took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria and everyone went to his own town to be registered. 
So Joseph set out from the town of Nazareth in Galilee and traveled up to Judea to the town of David called Bethlehem since he was of the David's house and line in order to be registered together with Mary his betrothed who was with child while they were there and the time came for her to have a child and she gave birth to a son her firstborn she wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them for them at the end in the countryside close by there were shepherds who lived in their fields and took turns to watch their flock during the night the angel of the lord appeared to them and the glory of the lord shone around them they were terrified but the angel said do not be afraid listen i bring you news of great joy a joy to be shared by the whole people today in the town of david a savior has been born to you who is christ the lord and here is a sign for you you will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger and suddenly with the angel there was a great throng of heavenly hosts praising god and singing glory to god in the highest heaven and peace to men who enjoy his favor the gospel of the lord praise 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 be to jesus now and My brothers and sisters baby Jesus is first of all a light that destroys the darkness of sin baby Jesus is a giver of peace that never ends baby Jesus is a self sacrificing savior and for baby jesus there is no place in the inn today baby jesus invites us he is telling us come enjoy and live in my light come enjoy my peace that will never ends come i am your savior and he's asking you and me can i come and stay in your heart what is going to be our response let us say very sincerely from our heart come lord jesus come and be born in my heart amen I believe in God the Father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Christ's birth brought peace to people of goodwill. Let us pray today that the joy and peace of Christ may become a reality in our lives and in the world today. O Lord, hear us, we pray. O Lord, give us your love. Once again. O Lord, hear us, we pray. O Lord, give us your love. We pray for the Pope, the bishops, and all pastors as consecrated person that they may experience the joy and peace of Christ's birth and fearlessly work for the kingdom of God, we pray to the Lord. O Lord, hear us, we pray. O Lord, give us your love. We pray for all families where children are welcomed and nurtured. May every family on earth become a haven of peace and joy of Christ the Saviour. We pray to the Lord. O Lord, hear us, we pray. O Lord, give us your love. We pray for those without shelter, that governments and other concern agencies may work towards providing shelter and other living conditions for all people. We pray to the Lord. O Lord, hear us, we pray. O Lord, give us your love. We pray for the dead, that perpetual light and joy of Christ may shine upon them, and that they may live in eternal peace of heaven. We pray to the Lord. O Lord, hear us, we pray. O Lord, give us your love. We pray for all those suffering from COVID-19 that the Lord may heal them and that the departed may have peace and joy of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. O Lord, hear us, we pray. O Lord, give us your love. Let us now pray for our personal intentions to be with Jesus. God our Father, you sent your only begotten Son to live amidst us and redeem us from our sinful situation. May the whole world experience and accept the peace, joy, light and life that he came to share with us humans. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of all creation. Blessed be God forever. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Blessed be God forever. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. Blessed be God forever. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, O Lord, God of all creation. Blessed be God forever, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Blessed be God forever, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. Blessed be God forever, it will become a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the oblation of this day's feast be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray, that through this most holy exchange we may be found worthy in the likeness of Christ to whom our nature is united to you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in the love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, 
this holy and unblemished sacrifices which we offer you firstly for your holy catholic church be pleased to grant her peace to guard it unite and govern her throughout the whole world together with your servant francis our pope and oswald our bishop and all those who holding to the truth hand on the catholic and apostolic faith remember lord your servants let us pray for our near and dear ones our family our friends and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you for them we offer you the sacrifice of grace or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you the eternal god living and true celebrating the most sacred night on which the blessed mary the immaculate virgin brought forth the savior for this world and in communion with those whose memory we venerate especially the glorious ever virgin mary mother of god and lord jesus christ and blessed joseph a spouse your blessed apostles peter and and martyrs peter and paul andrew james john thomas philip bartholomew matthew simon and jude Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen be pleased o lord we pray to bless acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved son Our Lord Jesus Christ <clears throat> On the day before he was to suffer he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven to you O God is almighty father giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands and once more giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciple saying take this all of you and drink from it For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do the same memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim 
Yode to Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to you in glory, your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, this holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, to command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also your servants. Let us pray for our dearly departed especially those who have died from coronavirus, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercy, graciously grant some share in the fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, which on the Baptist Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. All together. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and from my divine teaching we dare to say we dare to sing our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done upon the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from a sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever the peace of the lord be with you always let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you land of god you take away the sins of the world and mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but to your loving mercy, be for me, be for us, protection in mind and body, and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you come lord jesus come lord jesus come lord jesus come
of the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king peace on earth and mercy mild god and sinners reconciled joyful all the nations rise join the of the skies when the angelic hosts proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem of the herald angels sing glory to the newborn King repeat after me Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for the healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the caregivers, the doctors, nurses and attendants, that they are protected from this infection and strengthened in spirit. We pray for the, those who have died, that they may experience eternal peace and joy. We pray for scientists doing research that an effective medicine to eradicate the sickness is speedily found. We pray for government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people we make this prayer through Christ our Lord let us pray grant us we pray O Lord our God that we who are gladdened by participation in the feast of our Redeemer's nativity may through an honourable way of life become worthy of union with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, Father Lester, Father Agnello and myself, Father Tony, wish you and your families a holy and a happy Christmas. And now, all three of us will give you the final blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let us receive a King. Let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing and heaven and nature sing and heaven and heaven and nature sing joy to the world the savior reigns let men their songs employ while fields and flowers locked hills and plains repeat the sounding joy repeat the sounding joy repeat repeat the sounding joy
We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. My brothers and sisters, I wish you a very Merry Christmas. Have a wonderful Christmas day. Enjoy yourself wherever you are. And may Almighty God always bless each one of us. The biggest blessing he has given is Jesus today. May Jesus be always with us. Amen.